Is that right, mate? You're going to start by saying hello. Hello. <laughs> well, I'm just pointing the camera at the moment yeah. at the street. So yeah. yes, you'll you see this street is not in Kent because we are. There we are. In. <laughs> we are in uh, Portsmouth. Portsmouth. Yay, Portsmouth. Hello. Hello. Um, and we have just stopped at. Have a look. Over there. Lock, Lock stock, stock, and, and tackle. tackle. And um, just got some bits of bait in there. So thank you very much, Lock, Stock and Tackle, for the bait. And we're going to go and fish down, I think it's Fort Cumberland. Um, just on the, I don't know what the, S, it's an estuary, isn't it? It's the end of a of an inlet. I don't know what it's called at Portsmouth. Channel between uh, Hayling Port, Island. Uh, Hayling Island and here, basically. Yeah, so there's probably going to be quite a bit of water movement because it's part of the Solent. But um, hopefully there'll be some fish, so let's get down there. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Right, here we are. We are at uh, Fort Cumberland at Eastney, Portsmouth. And there's the channel there. And we're going to fish and that's the open sea out there. And just the other side of the water is the western side of Hayling Island. So we're going to fish straight down from the car. Car's there. We're going to go straight down there set up and fish now we're in this car park here which is right by the water's edge um god knows whether we're supposed to be here or not that's the sign that is uh here private land terms apply you've got two bullet points parking is permitted for all vehicles parked in a considerate manner within a designated parking area and then the second one says vehicles fully and clearly displaying a valid permit. Well, I ticked the top one, so I'm going to go with that because I haven't got a permit. But uh, I'm parking in a considerable manner. Um, it's not that clear, but because uh, it doesn't say all vehicles with a permit parked in a considerable manner. Anyway. Besides. Besides. Your car says, thank you very much for letting me park here. So that's a considerate car. So it's a it's parked in a considerable manner because it's been very considerate. I think Aaron's was smoking some hash or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get fishy, mate. Right, rods are set up. Both of our rods are set up with the rigs on. Um, let's quickly run through them all and then we're going to bait up. So, on my right, I have got on any fish anywhere. Six and bait. GSP Customs. Um, so that's running with a Shimano Altegra with braided line. I don't know what it is, probably 20 pound-ish. we got a Synetic Skyline leader on that. And then that's going down onto a pulley dropper rig and also with that I've gone with a 190 gripper on that um, there's going to be a fair bit of water movement here um, and with the bigger bait I'm going with a bigger lead so um, the 190 should hold the bigger bait in place because there's going to be a fair bit of drag on that on that bait underwater so that's why I've gone with a 190 on that and then my left hand rod is the Sonic Gravity HT that's again Shimano Altegra that's on braided line again with a skyline leader. That's 18 pound braid, I think, roughly around there. The leader is uh, 32 kilo, roughly. Is that right, Aaron? 32, yeah, yeah 32 kilo. And then we go down on that, and that goes down to a one up, one down clip rig. So on the top of this, I'm going to put lug on the bottom of this with the beads while I'm trying to get my foot in there i'm going to put a bit of rag on there tip with a bit of fish that's on a 170 um because i anticipate less um uh less drag on the baits on this because they're lighter baits and uh this one isn't going to go so far either so then we go over to aaron's rod 
looking quite sexy now, isn't it, mate? Your setup. Thank you very much. Looking quite sexy with your with your black and white. So come on in, mate. Tell us, what have you got here? I have two identical synthetic three-piece Contis. They're the Cayman Evolution. They're on a Sensi hybrid tip. Uh, 4.2 meters, 14 foot long, casting weight. 100 to 225 grams, a very thin 21 mil diameter tube, as you can see, very thin, like my thumb. Oh, it's always nice when I'm building a rod and on the butt section of the blank, I can get a 22 mil diameter reel seat. Nice. That's always nice. When I have to go up to 24 mil, you know it's a bulky rod. Are, it's nice, yeah. <laughs> and I've coupled them with two identical synthetic carbon fiber reels. They're the Raycast DS7000 CRB4 carbon fiber rotor, carbon fiber uh, chassis. Very, very light. So basically, even though they're beach casters, you can actually hold these rods in your hand if you're uh, getting finicky bites and you want to be on the ball to strike you could actually have them in, in your hands because they weigh nothing or you could you could you could fish them when you're out wading couldn't you, you could just hold them for yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so the rigs i'm going with today are, uh, uh, this rod i've gone with fluorocarbon uh, pedal pulleys I've gone with sturdy hooks, sturdier hooks. I'm not too keen on thin gauge hooks when I'm fishing big baits and targeting bigger fish. So I've gone with the Black Magic KS40 and the C.40 offset. As you can see, it sits very nice with the line. And I'm about to put out squid and mackerel wrap on the pulley rig. Yeah. Have one. The other rod I've gone with one of my flappers rig. I've gone with worm, thin gauge worm hooks, basically one O's. Camera sounds, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Stopper there and uh, sequin. Nice. So I'm going uh, basically single worm. I'm going to mix it up. I think I'll go with. Uh, Rag on the bottom, lug on the top, rag on the bottom. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do yeah, on mine yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure whether I'm going to end up tipping this or not. Okay. Since I'm doing a gentle lug, it's a narrow channel. Narrow isn't channel, it? yeah. I think we only need to be with these 30, 35, 40 yards out. So what would you, what would you say to just lobbing it out? Go for it, mate. Go for it. Right, let's get this out. Not going to go far with this. There we go, that'll do. Just out there. So that sink. Let that sink. There we go. Let that grip. Hopefully that will grip. Come on, grip. There we go. Right, I was going to go bluey on the pulley dropper, but I've got a mackerel out, so I'm going to go with mackerel. I'm going to want to use the top section here. So I'm going to cut that down there. Like so, don't want to litter, so that goes in my bag. Cut that across there. Like so. Then I want to cut that down by the spine. Like so. It's a nice chunk there. I just want to taper that off a bit. I don't want that that thick. That's what I'm going to put on. And bait elastic that on now onto the pulley.
Just take this first mate out. Oh. Nope. Right, Am's gonna. I've just got my two rods out, so I've got a big chunk of mackerel out, hoping for a ray, and then the worms, hoping for anything. And then here goes Aram. He's just gonna put his worms out. Yeah, plenty. A third of the way. Yeah, it is deep though. Is it? Yeah, it seems yeah, deep. It's still yeah, I still sinking. Seen them all. Yeah. I think what? Five meters? At least, if not eight or ten. You reckon? Yeah. Oh, a big bite. Big bite on the scratching rod. Like a proper pull down there. There we go. Come back. It's come back, whatever it is. Yeah, come on. Come on. So, uh, let's get this uh, bait out too. There's something here. Yeah. My mate Greg, I just heard, is big also bite. getting bites. Yeah, big knock. On the small bait or the big bait? On the worm. On the worm bait. Okay, so we both have bait on the worm bait. Oh, and, and I've just caught my line. I think there's a fish on. Is there a fish on? Possibly. Yeah, not. That feels weighty. That feels. Oh, now it doesn't. Oh, it could be worm. Is it? Uh, could be weed. And is there a fish? There's a bit of weight on there, mate. There's something on there. Come on. A whiting, not a bad not whiting. Not a bad start, not a bad start. Not a bad right. whiting. 28 centimetre whiting bird. Yeah, about that. Nice, mate. I'll nice. keep him for dinner. Not, not a bad start. There we go. Right. Over to my rod to cast, yeah? Do it, mate. Nice one. There we are, first cast. Nice size whiting. I'm going to keep him for my dinner. Put him out of his misery now. Get this recast. Right, so Adam's down there casting his second rod. I'm, I'm uh, about, see that person on the far bank? My line's going towards them slightly. Yes, fine mate. There we go, Aram has just cast his out right into the middle of the channel. I've just had a whiting first, first cast. Not a bad size whiting. There it is there. Just knocked it on the head because I'm keeping that. I like whiting. Aaron did have a rattle on his other rod, so hopefully, hopefully. we'll have a good yeah. session today. All right. Here we go with the baiting up again. So just baiting up this uh, one up, one down for the second cast. I'm not clipping it up because it's only a very light lob. I'm going to switch these two rods over though, and I'm going to go slightly right with this. Worm bait, there is a bit of tide pull. Um, and for the sake of filming me now, I'm quite close together, so I'm gonna go, gonna go right with this. So, might go a bit further actually. That's fine, that's out there. What is that out there? No, thank you. Right, here we are at, what is it, Langstone Harbour? mouth isn't it the lips out this is becoming a regular thing with our <laughs> fishing now <laughs> it's We're, not true our last session was very productive it was very, very productive much. we've had one bite here 
Um, resulting in a whiting. Very difficult to fish here. It is difficult to fish. There's weed ripping through. There is a very strong tide pull. Four knots. Yeah, it, it's, it's ripping around sort of 190s. So the birds are going down at uh, trolling speed. They just <laughs> conserve their energy and just plonk themselves on the water. And before you know it, they're upstream. Why fly when you can uh, when you can water ski quicker? Yeah. Um, so we are going to move, aren't we? We are going to move. Yeah. Decision made. We're going to go Southampton. Southampton on the western side. Maybe what? Magazine Lane. Magazine Lane. Let's do it. Right here we are. We come round to Hive. South, is this close to Southampton? Must be. It is, yeah. yeah, high up to Southampton. So we're on the Marine Parade. I think this must be Marine Parade or whatever it's called. I don't know. It's very comfortable. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Bench fishing. Can't get any better, can you? No. No, so we're going to quickly set up. It looks pretty easy to uh, land fish here. Just a little clamber down these rocks. Um, Hopefully there's something here more than there was uh, at Langstone Harbour. So uh, we've had a McDonald's and whatnot. We've probably got what, maybe an hour and a half of light, but yeah. um, got four hours on the car. So let's get set up and get out. There we are. Aaron's just said this is very nice. Right, we are set up. I've just got bait up. Aaron's baiting up. Slight alteration. Luckily, I brought four rods with me because I didn't really know where we were going to go. So I've switched out the Any Fish Anywhere rod to the the Vega Potenza. Um, so that's got a smaller bait, smaller reel on it. Shimano 5500. So I've put the one up, one down on that with 150. That's going to go in here somewhere. And then the other rod, the Gravity HT, that's going to have the long range rig on. That's going to go out. To the middle somewhere. Um, are you sticking with the same? I uh, am um, no, I'm going to Turk flap on one and a long range on the other. And on what 150s? 150s to start with, see, see what, what see happens. See how they hold, yeah. Right, let's get these baited up. So let's get this nice big ragworm on. There he goes. Good size rag. Good rag, isn't they, mate? Good quality rag. Thanks, lock, stock, tackle. Lock, stock, and tackle. Right. Do flounders uh, feed at night? Yeah. Yep, I've had flounders at night, mate. My six and a half pounder was at night. In Chile, yeah? In Chile, yeah. Yeah, on, on a lure. On a lure? Yeah. It was on a... Um, um, I can't think of the name of the one they used. It's a duo. Duo... For, I think it's duo fulcrum. Yeah. Right, so there's my bait rag tip with a bit of mackerel. I'm going to do the same with the top one. It's a smaller bit of rag on there. Tip that off with a very thin bit of mackerel. Just make sure I go through a tough bit that holds a bit of skin or something. There we go, like that. We can go. Right, I'm not going to clip this up. And I'm going to go straight towards the jetty. Right, so I am going... That's probably 35 yards out there. Is yeah, of course it will, mate. And do I go 30 pound or 40 pound? Long range? I don't think it matters, mate, to be honest. Is the water clear? It's not, is it? So it's a river, mate. It's not going to be clear, is it? 
thought it should be fine, shouldn't it? Yeah. Look at that. That is a nice bait, mate. Look. Fat, juicy. That That's a bait and a half. That's a bait and a half. Right, bit of squid on there. Let's find a bit of squid. Squiddly diddly. Here's how I'm going with his worm. Well, there's quite a bit of ripple on the water, so I didn't see that. How far did it go, mate? Uh, not far, 12, 50 yards. Okay. I don't want to push my luck on the first card. So that was really worth putting it down on the floor for that, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> What well, two? I don't think two whiting classifies oh, me as a master. It's up on the top. Ooh. Ooh. He's moving. He's zigzagging a bit. What is it? What is it? Bass. We'll take a schoolie bass. A schoolie bass in winter, in December. Get out of that. Oh, buy a thread, mate. Buy a thread. Buy a thread. <laughs> thread. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all, does it? A thread hooked fish is still a landed fish. <laughs> nice one, mate. Cheers, mate. Did you expect a schoolie bass in December? I did not. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, right, there we go. Fish, well done. Look at that. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Lovely. Let's get that back. Nice one. Right. So Aram's captured that. Luckily, me and Aram are mates, so we swap our little video clips. <laughs> Unless he gets jealous and I'll catch all the fish. <laughs> <laughs> then, then I accidentally lose them. <laughs> right, there's a little schoolie bass. Let's get him back. It's actually easier to get down here, mate. Yeah. This side. Right. There he goes. Off he swims through the weed. Lovely. Go on. Something on that worm bait. Yeah, go on, go on, go on, tremble. See it trembling? Yeah. I wonder if I've hooked something. Right, I'm going to bring this one in because it's doing some weird things. I don't know if there's something on it or what. Let's have a look. Well, there's weight on it. Is that? Christ, yeah. 
wonder if it's weed. I don't know. Look at it. Well, there's weight on that, mate. I wonder if I've got a flatty. I don't know. Let's have a look. I can feel something on this, mate. I can feel something on this. A crab. Weed. <laughs> That's what it is, mate. Where did that come from, eh? Bloody weed. Well, I'm glad I've put that in. Um, no, I haven't, yeah, mate. Is there? Well, here's Aram, bringing his long range rigging, and uh... oh, your other rod's just bouncing. Hold on, I might have to get your other rod, mate. Hold on, that just went mental. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm videoing you watching your other rod. If it goes, I'll get it. Yeah, you had a decent bite then, mate. Have you got anything on there? Nice clump of weed. Right, go on then. Open it comes back. Hope it comes it back, mate. Bite? Yeah, it was a really good bite, actually, mate. Yeah, still there, no? Yeah, yeah, but it probably. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right, Aaron's got a fish. I don't know what it is. Only little, yeah? No. Oh, he's into a monster. What do you think you got, mate? Have I lost it in the sky or what? Have you lost it? I don't know. Pull it back. Maybe it's still on. Yeah? Yeah. Let's on. see what he's got then. Up on these rocks. Let's hope they're starting to bite, mate. So I think I'm going to uh, get my worm out uh, a bit further then. Seems to be where they are, doesn't it? Swimming deep, huh? I'm going to see something spinning. Yeah. He's got. A, is it a codlin? Is it a big, big? Scully. Oh, Scully bass. <laughs> Little Scully bass. Uh, we didn't come here for bass, did we? We didn't come here for bass, mate. No, we did not come here for bass. But seems to be bass biting. There we are. Right. Second one. Second one of the day. A second bass, look at that, lovely. Spiny, spiky, and going back. A little bit too small, mate. A little bit too small. Alright. Too lug, big lug. You can go on, we'll thread them on. Nice oh, big bait squashed up on here, I think. Let's go for it. I'm going, yeah? You're going. Drive carefully. See you later. Two little lights in the distance. Yeah. But too near the pier. Yeah. The further apart ones are the top there. Nice. So you need to go a little bit. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Is that still going? Come on, come on. Oh, I was going to pick that up then. I should have done. Hesitation has led me to lose that, lose that. Ten pound cord. <laughs> yeah, this is a decent fish. Right, Aaron's got a decent fish on. What's that on? Worm bait? That's a long range bait. On the long range, yeah, right? Aaron's... It's got weight. 
and we've got a weighty fish right so what shall i do do you want me to get down there can you feel this it's getting dark i haven't got the lights on yet yeah right are you getting down keep tension on that mate watch yourself right i'll come down with you you feel it yeah yeah right got a good fish here i'm gonna all right i'm going down there mate in the darkness see what i can do i'm trying to keep you in the shot yeah oh. what what have you lost it yeah just there oh no yeah you just, lost it yeah just there oh, just there came up shit. popped up to the top and just off mate it looked like a flatfish it looked very brown and flatfishy unlucky mate very oh, unlucky man. mate that did your rod did fly over oh, man. your rod did fly over mate unlucky did right. I pull it too much right well it's five o'clock just gone we're about an hour and a half down no two out no two and a half hours down aren't we now two and a half hours down it's slow Am's had a stonking bite with a with a decent fish on the end and it come off close in but other than that we're getting plagued by crabs that's cool about. well i wouldn't say we're getting plagued by them oh, we've had three we've had... Bites. two you've had two i've had one i've had one oh, have you had one yeah i've had one i thought you had two i had one. Oh, what have you caught then a whiting and what a school are... bass no i mean here you said you caught every cast yeah i was oh, joking crabs crabs and weed oh okay okay i'm with you now <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we've had not a lot we're probably if it's if it's continuing like this probably give it another hour so let's hope it changes a little bit right so we have got a problem at the moment with crabs completely stripping our bait so aram's going to combat it a little bit by putting a well you putting a wrap of squid and, and bluey. squid and bluey so he's gonna put a bit of squid and bluey so it lasts on the oh, it's not a bit it's actually like a cumberland sausage size <laughs> <laughs> right he's put a large chunk now what i am gonna do is i'm gonna use a rotten bottom clip here and i'm gonna extend my long range rig by say three foot so hopefully, once this unclips, when it hits the water, my long range rig with its worm and squid bait is gonna be high enough off the deck to get away from the crabs. So, there we go. Tie this onto there. So all this basically does, if I tie this bit of line onto there, uni knot it's very cold my hands are freezing that is why I'm struggling right, that's on there cut the tag off that can go in my bag so just keep on the rod so then what we do we take the lead weight off of here And clip that on there. And tie that end of the line to the eye of the lead weight, like so. Again with a uni knot. There we go. I'll leave that tag, I'm not too worried about that. So now, hopefully, this will keep my worm out of crab's reach as I've now extended that giving that a lot more movement off the bottom yeah I'm happy with that right let's get some bait on that right so there's my bait clipped up a couple of worms on there push it down a bit a couple of worms squid head 
and then with the extension I'm just going to clip that arm through the lead there we go that releases when it is the water and then that opens up so it allows that rig to be cast the same length as it originally was but then once that opens up I've extended it using the rotten bottom clip right so I think this possibly have you got a fish mate you got a pelting I have didn't even know did you you got a tiny 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 pelting and it was it wasn't even shaking wasn't even shaking the rod the tip, rod tip. I mean, These are sensitives. Look at that. That is a tiny pouting. Lovely little fish though. Lovely colours on them. Gorgeous. But, um, not really what we come this way for, mate. Oh, oh, God, I've got a bite. I've yeah, got a big one. Decent bite. Come on, bite. come on, come on, come on. Come on. Back on slack. Come on. Come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've got to kick this. All right. That's annoying. Well, bait back out. That was on the bottom as well, was it? It was on the bottom. All right, so let's get that back out. Right, well, I've just, just missed that, just missed that bite. Um, but I'm going to get him out again quickly. Um, we putting the rod tips up may have helped get away from the crabs. I think it's got potential. Yeah, that's what Aaron says. He thinks it's got potential. Yeah, I think it's got potential too, mate. Right, just missed that bite. Got the rods back out again. It's gone on five. What have you got out, mate, so far? I've got, uh, I've got a pulley rig with a massive bait on that one. Yeah. And I'm about to put this bit of chunkiness out that bit of lovely gorgeous chunkiness swinging around look at me move oh look at it doesn't lovely it make, doesn't it make you want to bite it it does mate so that's the main thing then that mcdonald's seems a long distant memory yes now which way do i go with this one Yeah, that's infinity. <laughs> and beyond. And beyond. <laughs> Jesus wept. Right, let's hope we get a fish. I think it's sank on this. Just pull my uh, pull my tripod around. Come on. Yeah. No, you got him. I think so. Not very big, though. No. Not very big if it is on. Fair and pull. What is it? Something flapping. It's a whiting. It's a whiting. A whiting pulled my tripod round. Yeah, <laughs> oh dear. Well, they have a super strength whiting <laughs> in the test. There he is. Lovely whiting. Well, we are done. Isn't that right, Aaron? Almost. Oh, well done. He's got one rod out. Cause yeah. He's a slow packer. No, him. no, it's because I saw a cod over by that cruise ship there. Yep. And his trajectory yep. was coming in this line like that. And since I've got a bait just there, yep. I think I'm going to get him. Delusional. <laughs> So we're packing up, he won't get another fish. This will be the last bit you see of this. And if I do come back, 
he I'll has got a fish. He's got a fish. I'll give, I'll give him a tenner. <laughs> Done. It's on camera. Hey. hey. Uh, anyway, um, I think this place would fish on its day, but obviously that's not today. So um, we may come back here, uh, maybe in the new year, see what happens. But uh, today was a bit of hard work. Anyway, please subscribe if you like the videos, and I'll see you next time.